Hey gamers, Gaming at Max. So there's this really new Wuja or Janja game, basically a martial arts cultivation game that's gonna be available for mobile and PC very soon. And the game is called The Realms. So apparently this is a game that offers a unique take on martial arts and immortal games by creating an interconnected multiverse with diverse and immersive dimensions where players can explore a folded Eastern fantasy world that includes various realms such as Immortal World, the Demon Capital, the Spirit Realm, and the Divine Domain. They recently release a trailer and gameplay showcase which the developer asked me to react to and provide my honest reaction so that's what we're going to be doing in this video and uh, without further ado let's get right to it all right what's actually been shown in the video up until now is the cinematic trailer of the game i've actually watched this part once already and i can definitely say it's a good trailer Although that is not how we can tell if the game is good or not. We still have to, you know, actually try the game to be able to tell. I don't have information as to when its official release date yet, but it should be within a few months in China and then maybe about a year or so for the global. Oh wow, she's beautiful. You know, I kind of hope he's not one of the playable classes or races in the game. I mean, like, playing as a child is just not my thing. Okay. I bet this person is the grown version of that child. Anyway, that was the end of the cinematic part. <laughs> what kind of sign is that? But let's not say it, or the YouTube algorithm might suppress this video. I don't know what these three choices say, but based on the symbols written on them, they seem to be like elemental skills or something. For some reason, it's kind of reminding me of Justice Online. Oh my god, what kind of creature is that? It looks so creepy. It's like a human, you know, a uh, camel. Also, imagine being in a festival like this where the environment sounds so wicked and malice is like everywhere. A puzzle to solve. Alright. Oh, that was nice. Oh. I would be very happy if we could actually parkour like this in the actual game when it comes out. What an interesting item he's using there. It's able to see another reality. Or maybe those are just spirits that are invisibly living among them. It would have been nice if we know what they're talking about. But yeah, I guess we can only guess. Oh, he turned into a Harry Potter and turned the fox into a, a cop. <laughs> Sounds like he was turned down by that fox. Now that's what you call a festival. 
You know, Chinese festivals should always have this kind of music. And of course, it wouldn't be completed if there was no dragon. Now we're talking. Wait, we can tame pets in this game? Oh, so you can also shape shift. That was nice. This is an MMORPG, by the way, so we can definitely do all these things with a bunch of other people. It's like playing a Wuja version of Throne Liberty. I think it's clear now that this is going to be a real game. Oh my god. Dude, that sound effect, man. Damn. This is definitely going to be epic. Oh my god. If you have ever heard of Unending Dawn, that one upcoming game that looks like a combination of Genshin Impact and Elden Ring, this gameplay footage right here absolutely reminds me of that game. Wow, bro. Dude. Man, that was hot. Dude, the music. For some reason, it kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy XIV. You know, that one trailer they had before? I think it was Shadow uh, Sh Shadow Light or something. I, I forgot. But the epicness that that brought is kind of replicated in this uh, certain part of the trailer. Nice landscape. This must be where the gods live. Yep, so I was right. And that was the end of it. The realms. Only in theaters. <laughs> Just kidding. So my thoughts about this gameplay preview is it's okay. And I'm sure I'll be one of the first people to play it. It's most likely gonna come out in China first before it hits global, but I can wait. It seems to be an MMO where you could do lots of things like taming. Although I'm not yet quite sure about that one, but we will eventually find out anyway. It's innovative shape shifting and battle against the so-called immortals were quite interesting too. There's still a lot of things we don't know about the game yet, but overall, I think this game is worth checking out once it comes out. <laughs> Alright, that would be all for this video, my fellow mobile gamers. Subscribe to the channel. There's a lot of mobile games to be discovered here. And thanks a lot for hanging out with me today. This has been Gaming at Max, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day, friends.